Welcome to the shortest video editing course. So you have got your video editing software, which is Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, or Final Cut Pro. But how do you actually edit a great video? It's true, the software might be easy to learn, but mastering video editing, it takes time, patience, and understanding of the right technique. In this crash course, I'll cover everything from planning your story to exporting your video. Plus, to make it as practical as possible, I will be editing a client project for a coffee brand. So let's get started. Step one is the story or the idea. Before you drag even a single clip in the editing software, ask yourself, what is the purpose of this video? It's not just about compiling few clips together, it's about a goal emotion or something that you're trying to achieve with this video for this video I'll be editing a client project for a coffee brand and the task is to create a 7 to 15 seconds video showcasing the brand's premium coffee experience using stock clips music and text and the goal of the video is to make people aware about the brand so in the video that we are creating story could be as simple as grabbing attention showcasing the premium experience and then ending with a call to action so people remember the brand a strong story is your guide through the editing process step two creating a project and organizing your footage open the editing software of your choice and import all the media files after that organize all media files into bins or folders this is a lifesaver especially for large projects create a folder for clips music sound effects and any other graphics trust me future you will thank you for this small but essential step step three assembly and the rough cut focus on sequencing and rimming which means selecting best part from each clip and arranging it in a way so that it tells a story. At this stage, don't worry about text transitions or color grading. You just have to create a solid rough structure. So for a coffee ad, we'll take the viewer on the entire journey from coffee beans to the first sip and then end with a call to action. When creating a rough cut, remember to keep it tight. Cut out anything that doesn't add value to the story. Step four, pacing and rhythm. Music plays a huge role here. If your project has an upbeat and energetic tone, sync your cuts to the beat of the music for a snappy dynamic feel. On the other hand, if you're going for a cinematic vibe, let moments breathe with longer cuts and smoother transitions. For the coffee ad, we'll use fast cuts for energy and excitement while cutting to the beat of the music. Step five, adding effects and text. Over the top effects can distract the viewer from the story. So we'll stick to simple cuts along with speed ramps. Speed ramps are great to add drama and energy to the video. Speed changes along with the beat of the music can make the video feel more dynamic and engaging. When it comes to text, Choose clean, readable fonts and stick to a consistent style throughout the video. For example, in our coffee ad, we will add few words and animate them to highlight the product's premium features perfectly timed with music. Finally, end your video with a stylish logo animation or a product mockup. This leaves a lasting impression and reinforces the brand's identity. Step 6. Sound Design Bad audio can even ruin the most beautifully edited video. Start by normalizing the audio levels to ensure the music and sound effects are balanced. A simple whoosh with a speed ramp can make your video feel alive. Add simple sound effects, for example, to highlight the pouring of the coffee. This can make the video video feel more immersive. Step 7. Color correction and grading. This is where your video starts to look professional. Begin with color correction. This involves balancing whites, blacks and midtones to fix any issues with exposure or contrast. Once your footage looks natural and balanced, move on to color grading. This is where you can get creative and add a stylistic look to your video. For our coffee ad, I'll add an orange teal LUT to create a cinematic and premium look. Apply a LUT to the adjustment layer and adjust the opacity according to the look you are going for. Step 8. Exporting like a pro. You have made it to the finish line. Now it's time to share your masterpiece with the world. The export settings you choose will depend on the platform you're going to post on. For YouTube, use MP4 format with H.264 codec at 1080p or 4K resolution. For Instagram, export in a vertical format. Double check the bitrate to ensure a good balance between quality and file size. A higher bitrate means better quality but larger file size. Once done, click on export and there you have it. The video is ready. I have included all the files that I've used in this video along with the client brief. So feel free to create your own version and don't forget to send it to me. I would love to see what you guys have created. If you found this video helpful, make sure you subscribe. 
it helps us a lot if you are someone who wants to learn video editing for free check out this video where i have listed top youtube channels that will teach you everything that you need to know about video editing from basics to advanced vfx color correction motion design and a lot more